All right, guys, we just ran all the way over here to Calypso, where we were the other day, and the taxi isn't here, and he was supposed to be here two minutes ago. So we're kind of just turning to the skid right now. If you don't know what that expression means, means like accepting the worst, kind of. So what we're doing right now is we're uh, actually getting uh, just really fresh oysters, which I'm very excited for. So right now it's 3.58. Our flight is at 5.07, and the airport from where we are currently is like 40 minutes away. So we do need to kind of get a move on, because we do also need to get back to our hotel to grab our bags. So we kind of are friends. Hey, so they just drove by asking what channel I have, and they're the first people to learn about Joe Gray Vlogs. Please feel free to follow me. I'll see you guys. Oh, sure. What's your name? Sure. Um, Skylar Anastasia. Skylar, well, thank you for being the first. Jo Actually, I don't know what our family name is called, but thank you. I mean, hey, give me a high five, man. Yeah, all right, cool. Hey, take care, guys. Guys, I'll tell you this much. We are so lucky. Our cab driver luckily knew the, the number to the airline that we were flying so they told us to, told them to wait like five minutes and thank god we actually made it i'm not sure what's going on now because we had to check our bags but we had to pay money to check our bags but we have no cash and they only take cash but they took our bags anyways so i'm looking for the lost back in the cutest airport in the world but guys we were very lucky to catch this flight so we made it thankfully i'm literally wearing a sweater dress in puerto rico yeah well you're wearing pants Kate's right sweater dress. well yeah i'm wearing pants but it looks like a sweater dress yeah thank you Kay, for the comfortable sweater by act of god and our taxi driver himself we were able to make a san juan a tiny airport i'm I so our taxi I'm, driver double what i was supposed to because i was so thankful oh yeah yeah i mean he waited for us because the first taxi service we had screwed us completely but yeah i mean suzanne's suzanne's just wearing a sweat kate sweatshirt and i'm wearing a soaking wet bathing suit luckily we'll be in, we'll be in our hotel in probably like a 30 minutes ish yeah, so honestly, I don't want to bore you guys with us getting there, so I'll just see, catch you guys when we're there. Guys, this is a priceless moment. So as soon as we got off the flight, I was able to get all my bags. I got my, you know, my carry-on. I got my checked bag, which is my big hiking backpack. But now we have to wait here at the carousel, Suzanne's bag. And you want to explain what that is? Well, let me explain, because she doesn't want to. No, um, no, 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 I want to explain. I don't want him to say it for me, because he's going to screw it all up. So basically... Fair, actually. I wanted to bring a check bag, because I was going to bring, like, a little, like, like little luggage, like a carry-on. But then I decided to bring a big one and check it, because I had, like, a lot of spray cans for my sunscreen. Don't Shut interrupt me. spray cans. You had about 50,000 bikinis and shoes that you could not bring in your backpack, so you had to bring a big little luggage. Don't lie, the aerosol cans. I could have fit everything into a check bag like I do those weekends I go to visit you in LA. And the clothes I brought to Puerto Rico are a lot smaller than the clothes I bring to LA. So like, Fair. <laughs> it was because of the spray cans. Okay, well either way, we have to wait here at the carousel for her bags now. I'm so sorry you have inconvenienced you. Thank you, that's also looking for some apology. It's fine, I'll be waiting over here. Love you. Oh, she's mad. All right, we'll see you at the hotel. So we just got into the hostel. Now, if you guys know anything about a ho the difference between hostels and hotels is hostels are cheaper because you get small rooms. Like you can see our room. So we have a nice wall. Oh, a little plant. Ooh, nice plant. Oh, we got wall, more wall. We got a chair, which has all my stuff on it. Table with all of our other stuff on it. A bed and then, yeah, yeah. So basically this is the world's tiniest room, but it's all right. Cause we're not paying that much for, you know, a night or two nights here. Hostels also have uh, dorm rooms, which basically means that there's a room with like, you know, 10 something bunk beds. So it's basically like $7 a night at places. And it's actually a great way, if you're ever going backpack or travel anywhere, you know, you gotta do hostels because that's the best way to save money. And plus that's how you meet people. There's always a restaurant, bar or something in the restaurant. You okay there? Is the shower's cold? Suzanne just lost hot water. So yeah, why don't we go outside? So guys, we had a long day of traveling. Um, not even traveling, just like, just the let. We had an hour where we just literally had to book it to the airport. And honestly, we're just really thankful that we actually made it. San Juan from, you know, what we've seen so far is absolutely beautiful. I mean, we're very excited for tomorrow. Unfortunately, we only have like one full day here. Two nights and I, I have majority of one day, but Suzanne leaves in the morning on a uh, Sunday. So yeah, tonight, uh, we're going to go out. I think we're going to, we're going to go to this nice restaurant down Old San Juan. Uh, which is about a five minute drive from here. After that, we're going to come back to where our hostel is and actually go out uh, with members of the hostel and go to basically this like bar street, pub street. Basically, there's a bunch of bars there. There's like 70 something bars or something. I don't know. There's a lot of people saying stuff about the street. We're very excited. But yeah, unfortunately, I don't 
feel comfortable taking my camera out, especially if, you know, I'm drinking, I'm going to probably lose my camera, odds are. I spent a lot of money on this camera. So the rest of the vlog from here on out is going to be filmed on my iPhone. So I apologize in advance for the audio or the quality or whatever. But I really hope you guys enjoy what's coming up. And yeah, let's just head to it. So we just got to the restaurant. It's on the rooftop. We are very excited for this. We are on the fourth floor right now. And <laughs> Susie, I don't like, I want to do this. That's just, that's just too much food right now. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's more, I'm pretty sure. No, you're kidding. Oh, it's like three, okay. No, we're fine. We're fine, okay, we're good. Let's, we're going to take a seat real quick. We are currently waiting for a table. We have about a 30 minute wait, so we just got some drinks, but we just found this beautiful drink right here. This is strawberries and pineapple soaked in rum. It's eat your drink. Suzanne, how do you, what do you think of it? It's really good. So they basically soak these, the fruit in rum for three, four days. You're not gonna make it to dinner, are you? No, okay, cool. Two hours later. Do not drink ever on an empty stomach. We had two drinks. Look at Suzanne. Are you sure about that? You're not doing too well. Oh no. Oh, why? Why? I'm giving them a lesson on Puerto Rican cuisine. God. This? Oh, you can't switch it around? Oh, you, oh, it does it by itself? Oh, I was holding it. Horizontal? Oh, yep. Yep, there, yep, it, is. there it is. There it is. So anyway, this, you can't really see it, is mofongo. And it's stuffed plantain. It's mashed plantain. Anyway, I was wrong. It's mashed plantain. And then it's usually stuffed with something, but in this case, they put the chicken on top, I guess, because they didn't want to stuff it. So, yeah, we're about to eat. Got these nice, spicy chicken tacos, which look like tiny little burritos. They're adorable. They're precious. I'm not going to do what I normally do for food. Um, unfortunately, I mean, I'm sorry if you guys are looking forward to that. I can already tell you these are going to be bomb. But honestly, I'm trying to save battery life on my phone. I'm at 20% right now, so I'm trying to, like, stay back because I want to vlog all night. But I'm going to wolf this down real quick, and we'll catch you guys back on the street while we walk around. 12 seconds later. Guys, I have to, I have to be honest about something. You can't. You can never trust a book by its cover. These tacos look absolutely amazing when I first looked at them, but upon further investigation in between basically two tacos, I have to conclude that these are not good tacos. Which I'm kind of upset about. Suzanne has a delicious meal. Um, I just want to express to you guys how sad I am right now. It's just chicken and lettuce. It's not really a taco. I just wanted to say I ordered the Puerto Rican special and it's dank. Okay, everybody. This is I'm just gonna pour it. Sandals are so slippery because they're like new. All right, well, we just finished up at the restaurant. I had a gr I had a, okay, actually, I had another great meal. You had a fantastic meal. I'm I enjoyed- I'm so full, I like can't. I enjoyed eating half of it. It was great. Um, oh, I think we're gonna walk around the old district or go back to the- I'm gonna follow the noise because there's usually people there. That's actually not a bad call. Yeah, I, I could see you like booking for something to make fun of me for, but like yeah, I was like right. honestly, I, I felt that 100. percent I'm about walking this really small, sketchy elevator, uh, which, as you can see here, it says, "Please wait for elevator door to elevator door Jesus. to close, and then push the floor by." To, uh, so now it's closing slowly. But, no, pizzas are dangerous because they taste like juice. That's just cocktails in general. Oh, that is not. Oh, you're not doing well. All right, so we're trying to find this bar street. We have no idea actually where. I think it's up this way. <laughs> Suzanne, where'd you find it? Right here. No, but leave it. It's, it's not so cool. yours. Can I drink it? No, Suzanne, someone just drank. I don't yeah. care. What if I take out the straw? It's it's still the principle. It's of cold. Drinking. No, I feel it's cold. Don't touch. Don't touch. It's a pouch of sangria. I don't. No, think I, under, fully I understand. understand. I know. I understand. It's like a pre sun of alcohol. Yes, precisely. I want it. Honey, can we, we go find me one? Yeah, we'll get you a fresh one, okay. fresh clean one. Fine. Okay, let's leave the ger germs alone. I want to take a picture. Guys, can someone help me out here? I mean, I'm just trying to like have a good time. Now I'm babysitting. It's like a fun babysitting. Everything for that Insta post. Everyone catch it on my Insta story. Just kidding, the lighting's too shitty. It would never make it. Alright, so we just went to some of the bars in Old San Juan. Wait. Suzanne! Can you please get out of the golf cart that's not ours, very obviously? Can you drive it? I mean, I could, but why? Like, it's not ours. We gotta, like, please get out of it. Okay, honestly, you used to be fun. I'm still fun. I just don't want to get arrested right now. Alright, so we just went to a few bars here at San Juan. We just paid, like, way too much money for it. It's a mediocre drink, I'll be honest. It wasn't that good. Okay, they claim that they're the best mojitos, but they were really, really sweet. I was, like, grossed out, but they were really, really strong, which is probably why I'm talking like this. 
help. In fair, she's not doing too well. I mean, these mojitos, they were good, but like not, they weren't great. I Honestly, they said the best mojitos. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to do another bar now, so this will be oh, entertaining. Oh, no. You said you wanted to go. Oh. This is all you. I'm, I'm not putting much in your mouth. I don't remember. Oh, I'm Lord go Jesus. That way. Okay, let's just. Okay. Bam bam, mon chat se passe, j'ai sur mon lit à bouffer sa langue en buvant trop mon whisky Quant à moi, peu dormi, vie débris, mais j'ai dû dormir dans la boutière où j'ai eu un flash Wouhou En quatre couleurs Allez hop, un matin, une louloute est venue chez moi, poupée de cellophane, cheveux chinois Un sparadrap, une gueule de bois Oh, What's up guys? Yeah, we're not doing too hot to this morning. <coughs> Good morning, you guys. We had a fun night last night going around San Juan. There's a bunch of cute, I mean, they're adorable. They're like the tiniest little bars. Anyways, guys, we have a fun day planned today. You'll see in the next video, but I'm gonna wrap this video up because I feel like it's getting kind of long at this point. So if you enjoyed the video, please uh, leave a like, comment down below what you liked and disliked about it because I really want to improve my vlogs for you guys. Already, you know, I haven't even posted anything yet and you guys have been absolutely lit on my Instagram, been killing the game. Thank you guys so much for that already. I cannot wait to get these videos out to you guys, um, which actually sounds weird because this, by the time you see this, the videos will already be out and oh, my head hurts. Please subscribe, uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram to stay in the loop with what I, where I'm traveling, where I'm going to, maybe I'm going to start seeing some fans when I travel, who knows. But anyways, guys, I gotta get out, man. I have to help Suzanne. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.